Okay, so I'm in Middlesbrough today and uh, I'll try to find somewhere that I can actually see three of the big uh, well-known features. And if you look, there's one of them. As I've got this right, that's the transporter bridge. Not sure how it works. And then here, you can see it in the slight distance there. That's the Riverside Stadium. And just here, it's a piece of modern art that uh, it's famous for. I'm not quite sure who's done it, but uh, I'm not even sure what it's actually meant to represent. But it's quite interesting. Let's see what else there is to see in Middlesbrough. Stay with me. So we're now at the Middlesbrough Hydraulic Clock Tower. I can't see the clock working up there though. But anyway, this was uh, erected to commemorate the shipyard that was built by I think James Lang in the 19th century and it was the first um, first ship that came up, I think it was a wooden ship to carry coal. Let's see what it says on the sign here. Let's see if I've got it right. It's the Dock Clock Tower. Tease Transporter Trail. Dating from the 1900s, the tower contains water tanks which once provided power to operate the dock gates. Okay, the tower has only three clock faces due to industrialist concerns that workmen along the banks of the trees would watch, watch the clock, clock watch. Interesting. You can still see the um, artwork over here along with the riverside, which is all locked up, you can't get in there. But uh, let's walk around it and see if we can see anything more. Another sign over here. Yes, James Lane's first shipyard. A wooden ship Middlesbrough to carry coal it was first launched on the 27th of January 1833. So there you have it. Obviously we can't go inside. It's at the outside of Middlesbrough College. And there's the college. Look at that uh, cloud cover. Just outside the college. It looks like it's of a man on the starting blocks or a woman on the starting blocks of a 100 or 200 meter race. I'm not sure what it represents. If there's something special about this, a special runner from Middlesbrough, comment below if you know the answer to this conundrum. Okay, here we are. Actually, come down to the riverside now to have a little look at it and. Uh, it does look like a very big stadium. It looks very new, even after so many years it's been built. So look at this. Have a look at this stadium. It's, it's just, even now, I mean, it's, I came here to watch a match 15, maybe 18 years ago. It wasn't exactly new then, but it still looks like a modern stadium. It's a really iconic part of Middlesbrough. Well, there's the crest, 1876, so what's that, 145 years old, this, this, uh, this football club. Maybe one of the earliest clubs, I'm not sure. The crest is on the, uh, these hoarding things here as well. What can I see over here? Let's see. Okay, so there's two statues here. And actually, as I walk across here, you've got a lot of uh, people's names here. Steve McCurrock, Borough fan, dearly loved. This is a remembrance area, I guess. Not just remembrance, just people have got uh, other things. But yes, it's also remembrance for people that have passed away. And just here, beautiful statue. George Hardwick, captain of Middlesbrough Football Club in, Eng in England. Comment below if you're a Middlesbrough fan, comment below about George Hardwick. Tell me how many games he played. Who, he, you know, when did he play? In? Wilf Mannion, the Golden Boy. Wilf Mannion, the Golden Boy. Middlesbrough Football Club, England and Great Britain, 1918 to 2000. So I'm guessing he was playing in about the maybe the 40s. Handsome devil. 
and there's this this the stadium entrance the main entrance you know i think when a town a city has got a club like middlesbrough that's something to be proud of okay we're outside albert park and the dormer museum and it really looks nice let's take a look at these beautiful flowers that are just outside of the museum and of course there's a statue here as well of uh, Stanley Elton Hollis who got a Victoria Cross uh, in the Second World War. The Green Howards. So this is the guy, this is the picture. This is the um, picture. Doesn't look like a picture, it looks like a, a, a statue carrying a Bren gun. He was a sergeant, company sergeant major. The only service to be awarded the BC on D-Day for his gallantry on Gold Beach. Now we're going to have a quick look at the Dolman Memorial Museum. But you know, you can't actually go in at the moment. It's free to enter, unlike the one in Hartlepool. Um, but you have to book a time slot. It's got a beautiful domed roof. Maybe Sir Christopher Wren had something to do with it. Comment below if you know. Well, behind me you can see what looks like a, quite an old building. I thought it was a, a town hall or an old town hall, but no. I asked the lady over the road here and she tells me this building here is flats now, apartment building, but it used to be a church and then it turned into a pub and finally it's apartments. So I've come to the Captain Cook birthplace museum and it's really weird, it's dri driven my car into the middle of a park. I'm not sure if I'm meant to be in here, but I am in here. And it's a, a beautiful park here in amongst a very rich area with very, very large houses. Well, let's see what we can see about the Captain Cook Museum. Interesting. Okay. Some more interesting totems over there. The Captain Cook Country Tour. This will take you to Whitby. Marked by the sea, all sorts of areas. But this apparently is where Muslim where he was born. He was the first person to circumnavigate the world in both directions. <sighs> well, what do you make of that? And there's the Captain Cook. First place museum entrance. I don't know if this one's free or whether you've got to pay. I'll find out. Okay, so I just checked it's four pound entry for adults, two pound fifty for children. Uh, I think it's probably a, a quite a good museum to go to though, so it is probably good value. Okay, so this is a some sort of arch thing just outside. It's four pound to get into the museum adults and two pamphlets for children and I think that's probably good value for money I don't know it's, it's, it's free in the park and the park looks very well tended well worth coming here check for the Captain Cook birthplace museum and it'll take you to the middle of the park well I have to say I was surprised I got here it looked like you weren't allowed to drive here and when I got here there was only spaces for disabled people so I'm not sure that I should have come here well, that's it. We're finished now in Middlesbrough. That's a lot of things. There's more than that to see here, actually. My impression of Middlesbrough. I like it. It's a big place. Lots to see and do. Lots of um, good housing. And there's, um, there's commercial stuff here and factories. Yeah, I think it's a good place. Anyway, if you like what I'm doing, press the like button, follow the channel, maybe even ask for updates, but more above all, Stay safe. Until next time.